Thanks for stopping by another No BS Chat this week. And we're talking something, well, a little bit deeper, if you will. As people get on with social media, as they build up a following, as they build up a fan base, as they build up a business using social media, they start throwing around one of those fancy, you know, $3 words, um, analytics. Google has, has, I don't say the one who, who made analytics famous. I mean, analytics have been around for a long time. It's, anal it's the analysis of data. It's analyzing data, whatever it is. I mean, analytics isn't a big word. But everybody wants to throw it around because, well, they want the analytics. If I do something on Twitter, what are the analytics? How many people am I reaching? And I see people all the time, and I've seen it in the recording world. I've seen it in the you know, political world where they'll say, we had a tweet up where they had a bunch of people, and they answered some questions on Twitter and got people to follow them. And, you know, and we reached 2.4 million people with this tweet up. Well, I can show you stats that'll make you say 2.4 million. I can show you stats that'll make you say 240 people. Just because it's there, just because the potential is there, doesn't mean you actually reach those people. I mean, I've got a huge Twitter stream all the time where it's just flowing stuff. I don't necessarily always pay attention to it. Analytics are important. Analyzing the data is important. I do a lot of data analysis on a regular basis. And sure, I have all the fancy tools and know all the websites you can go get all the data from and all the services you can buy all that great data from. Again, those services are in the money, are in the business to make money for themselves. Yeah, they're going to give you data, but at the same time, it's more about them making money for themselves. There are just some basic things you can do on your own to track data. You know, as I talked about years ago, when I got involved in a management program called Qualstat, Qualitative Statistical Analysis, I didn't want to get involved with it. It was something we were forced to do at the radio station I was working at, and I came to love it because it basically said, if, if something happened on day A, and all of a sudden the numbers raised, what was different than day B where the numbers didn't raise? What was the thing that made the statistics move? Was it an aberration? Was it just a fluke? Or was it a change of structure you made that all of a sudden made a difference? And if you made a change in structure, what if you were to do it again? Would you repeat that change in structure? It's a basic tenet and it's a basic principle of qualitative statistical analysis. But at the same time, it, it's a, just a great way to look at, at analytics. It's a great way of looking at everything. I mean, too many people get so caught up and they put up a Facebook post. It's like, well, I wonder how many people are going to share it. Well, what is the pattern for sharing? Are you thinking time of day? Are you thinking day of week? Are you thinking month of year? Are you thinking what season is it? Are you thinking what's going on around the world? you got to take all those count, uh, factors into account. So analytics are great tools, but so many people look at finding ways of making analytics justify things. And sometimes it'll tell you the return on investment of social media is tough to justify at this point. You get what you pay for. A lot of these sites are free, so therefore you're really not getting the same thing. You're not necessarily getting you know, true quality buyers, true, true quality you know, purveyors of your service or whatever it may be. Analytics are important, but don't get caught up in the numbers game. Don't get caught up in the BS. I've got competitors, competitors who I've worked with on projects, and I've got companies I deal with now all across the world who are playing a BS game. You know what? And the bottom line is this. They're charged to do something that they just can't say, you know what? We just can't do it. It's not possible. There are so many people who, who want and, and feel that they should get unrealistic things. Um, you know, the old unrealistic expectations point. Uh, a lot of recording artists think that they should be bigger stars than what they are. A lot of politicians think that they should be more popular than what they are. Just because Obama did such a great job with social media, they think if they kind of try to replicate that, that they should do the same thing. There are more factors involved. So you can look at all this great data. You can pay for all this great data. But at the same time, are you really hitting on all the basics? Don't get caught up in, in the fancy words. Don't get caught up in the fancy numbers. Go back and, and do the basics. I'm going to say go back and watch our video series here, and we're now, you know, what, 30 some odd videos in. But go back and watch some of the basics. Are you really doing the basics? Are you really performing the basic tenets of building a fan following, a building a friendship, building a connection? Or are you just going through the motions trying to scam everybody? There are so many people out there who, again, just trying to build numbers, aren't really trying to build connections. If you'd focus on building the connections, focus on, on making sure you're hitting all the basics, the, anal the analytics will come around. Try to say that three times fast. Another no BS social media update next week. No BS, no games right here. IntensitySocial.com where we have these videos. We also have them on YouTube. You can also find us, IntensityMedia.net. All my details coming up here at the end of the video. See you next week.